And sometimes we discuss and debate whether or not there is a historical truth to religion. In other words, did any of this stuff ever happen? Was a redeemer ever sent to us? Uh, if so, was his mother a virgin? Um, if so, was she immaculately conceived? If so, what took so long? Um, questions of this kind that are not at, at all without their importance and their validity. And sometimes we discuss what you might call the metaphysical uh, truth of it. Is, is there redemption to be had in this way? Yes, but if that one, if that one there had made the right propitiations, had gone to the right prayer meetings, had made the right offertories, had sworn to the, the right uh, oaths, that one would have eternal life and the others would not. And see if you can make yourself believe any of that for a second. That'd be a very good debate. Does this stuff, even if it's all made up, even if it's all entirely man-invented, does it at least make people behave better? It may not be true. It may indeed be completely false. It may be fabricated. But does it have a moral effect? Does it make people treat each other more kindly? So we look around today's world, and I've got now not very many, many minutes left, and I'll tell you why. I don't think there's any evidence at all, at all, to make us believe that true or false religion is better in times of crisis, war, terrorism, famine, and so forth.